Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama. And let me just say that I think trying to figure out YouTube must be one of the most mentally challenging things ever. Like, and it could possibly be because I did some couponing things for a little while and people didn't like that, but I'm pretty lucky to hit about 100. I'm hitting like 20 views now. So I kind of give up on trying to figure out the YouTube thing and I'm just going to do my own thing and see what happens eventually if or when I ever get to the 4,000 um, watch hours. But if you do have a YouTube channel, can you comment be down below and tell me like how long did it take for you to get like a little bit of normalcy? This May will be two years for me. And I cannot figure it out. Like, I do not know if there is normalcy in YouTube. I don't know any of it. But today, you guys, I finally went to the Dollar Tree. Yes, I did. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I went to the thrift store on my way home that is right up the road from me that I tell you guys all the time that I donate to because they, all of their profits or proceeds go to the, um, the food bank in the area. And so I went there on my way home and I found some amazing stuff for my clients. So first, let's start with the thrift store. So their books were, hardback was $1.99, paperback was 99 cents, but it was buy one, get one free. So I found this and it says, can you see what I see? Cool collections and it's by Scholastic. I remember getting this when I was little. Wait, there's a sticker on it. I didn't even realize that. But do you guys remember like getting the little, like the thing that you were able to like order books out of? Sorry, I was looking at what my dog was doing when you were younger. But this, you guys, my patients are going to absolutely love this. Like there's different ones in each one. Games galore. Can you see what I see? So this is going to be fun. And it tells you like there was one. I was looking at like two roosters. So then we have to do, work on counting, two soccer balls. So we have to work on all that. This one is um, polka dot bow. So we have to figure out what that is. Um, different animals that we're going to have to figure out. A bunny that's blue. So we're going to have to do colors. I mean, it's all wrapped up in one little book. So I was really excited. Um, it doesn't say $13.95. It says it normally is. I don't know. But it's an older book. But it was one. Actually, it was like one dollar because it was buy one get one free and then i saw this one guys so this is the world of cars and it has five puzzles it only has four but i'm fine with that and it says the cars puzzle book but i'm gonna turn it sideways because some of the pieces were kind of falling out but you guys like it tells you the story of that and then look like the puzzle is right here so there's a puzzle oh see i told you some were falling out Oh, did one drop? Sorry, guys. Hold on one second because I don't want to lose these pieces. So, like, here's another one, and it has the car right there. I mean, we have Doc Hudson here. And, you guys, it only doesn't have one puzzle. So, I was really excited about this. And it says it's normally $7.99 in the U.S., but, again, I got it for a dollar because they're $1.99, but I bought one and got one free. Oh, I brought my cup over. I wanted to show you guys my newest. I think I need to put one more layer of epoxy on it, but this is the cup that I just did. Oh, chopper. Sorry, guys. No, no, baby. So this one right here was just one of the color-changing cups, and so with my... Cricut, I just printed out this mermaid tail and then I used a small paintbrush and went in between here and put Mod Podge and then dumped glitter on it. And then like just cut some tape and put it down here and then put some glitter on the bottom too. And then I just epoxied over it. So I'm really proud. I'm really trying hard on these cups. Like, yeah, I'm really liking them. And speaking of the cups, did I bring them in? I did, hold on. So also at my thrift store, since I'm still practicing, I found these and these were only $1.99. Now they are plastic, but again, I don't really care what they are right now. I'm just still practicing. And these are the 22 ounce mainstays water bottles from Walmart. Wait a minute, Chopper, sorry. Like if we are sitting down to eat or kind of doing anything, our dog immediately wants out. You're gonna have to wait a minute, please. Can you please wait? Yes, you can wait. So anyways, I got these for $1.99 each, which I thought was a great deal. So there's those. And then I got this Read to Me Treasury Classics just because I thought it was beautiful and it's classic tales. Sorry, my dog is just, you can wait. There's Bambi. 
You guys, I mean, this, look, first of all, let's look at how, you're gonna, no, no. He is literally chewing on the tripod. You're gonna have to wait. You can, wait a second, please. Okay, well, we're, I guess we'll have to wait. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But if you have seen any of my videos recently, you will see where it's a joke that my dogs are in charge. Not a joke, they really are in charge. But anyways, let's get back. So this right here, I mean, is beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And they have Bambi, that's my favorite, favorite Disney movie. Like the Dalmatians, I mean, it has everyone in here, Fox and the Hound. So I was really excited about this one. Lion King, of course you have to have the Lion King. It is beautiful, like there is, like this little thing right here is someone's name, but it's literally a sticker that peels out. So this beautiful book, was technically $1, because again, $1.99, buy one, get one free. And then with that, I got this, but I think this one I got more for friend mail. So it says $17.99 in the US. But this is the 100th anniversary treasure, the Raggedy Ann, but there is someone here on YouTube who has been getting like Raggedy Ann dolls. Oh, I was trying to figure out what the noise was. Who has been getting like Raggedy Ann dolls and, from the, um, from like different thrift stores and cleaning them up. And that's what one of her rooms are down in. And so, check the chopper, chopper. I am so sorry, chopper. So anyways, I got this for her because I just think it would be awesome and it's so pretty. So again, chopper. So yeah, it's normally $17.99. It's very thick, very nice book. So I got that. We're just gonna keep on trucking because this dog has lost his mind today. So, the last two are for my patients and I was so, so excited to find them yet again. This is by the Usborn. If you have ever got Usborn books, they are really expensive, but they are the best learning books ever. So this is the Big Wipe Clean Activity Book with doodles, dot to dots, and mazes. And this is normally $14.99, may I point out, $14.99, and this one was considered a uh, chopper. That's enough. A paperback. And so this was 99 cents. Chopper. That's probably one of the reasons I don't get a lot of views. They cut out. Anyways, chopper, no. So, like, he's scared now. Somebody went by on a quad by our house. Oh, and so now he's scared. It's okay, it's okay. So we don't usually, it's okay. It's okay, baby, I know. So him's is scared, huh? This is our baby thud. So this, that's enough. So he is Blue Nose Pitbull and Boxer. It's okay, it's okay. Um. And so his name is Thud because he was the firstborn from our little princess. That's enough, Chopper. That's enough. So he, Chopper, our blue nosed pit bull, he gets so upset if anything scares this puppy. So our puppy is two years old, to totally on a different thing. So he is two years old and he is the oldest of 10, huh? And our blue nose pit bull is his dad and our boxer is his mom. And um, our pit bull does not like if anyone scares him. And so he just keeps running back to check on him and running back outside. But unfortunately it was a quad that went by and there's nothing I can do. But he was born during the pandemic. So he has usually somebody home with him like all the time. It's okay. And so he is scared of his own shadow. Like he, yes. So. He's gonna be okay, but yeah, so he is the oldest of 10 and we named him Thud because uh, he fell on his head when he was born, unfortunately. Okay, you're okay. So anyways, you wanna get down? Okay, so he's better now, ouch. There you go, he's gonna go check it out. Anyways, this is an activity book, sorry about that guys. <laughs> Again, this is why I don't get the views. Um, so it's like join the dots to see what's under the sea, but then I don't have to throw it away when it's done, it's just a wipe off book. So then monsters and robots, all that kind of thing. So it's just a big activity book and it was only 99 cents and it's reusable.
This one right here is Pete the Cat Groovy Wipe Clean Writing Tablets. And this is by Scholastic also, and it is from 1999. Well, that's embarrassing. That's when I graduated high school. Um, but if you open it, it actually still has its dry erase marker. Are you kidding me? And it just says, um, it just talks about Pete the Cat. And you all, it has where they can trace the letters and erase them. I mean, come on now, it's, this is amazing. So I know that this is going to come in handy amazingly with my patients. So I got that. And then we're gonna, that's the end of what I got from my thrift store, just those books and those two cups. My total was like $9.55. And now we are going to move into, finally, I went to Dollar Tree. So we're gonna move into our Dollar Tree haul. You're fine, baby. And so first thing, there's only one thing, you're fine. You're okay. Um, in this bag. You're okay, baby. And I just picked up some more storage bins. Um, these right here. Gosh, I want to find the ones with the lids again. I really do. But I got these two to help me to organize a little bit some of the stuff that I have, like my resin and my epoxy in. So I picked these up because they're large. I like that they're pretty um like flush on the sides and come up so they don't waste space. So I got two of those. And again, we all know it's $1.25. So I also picked up two of these and they are the Marshmallow Cream 7 ounces, the Jet Puff, because you all know, if you have seen my video with that Heaven Dip, we need Heaven Dip in our lives sometime soon. So I picked up two of these so that we could make that. Remember, it's just this and a block of cream cheese and you can cut up apples or grapes or whatever you want and dip it in it. It's amazing. All right. You guys, I have been looking everywhere wanting to find this. And this is, I found a lot of the vinyl, but I have not found the rainbow. So I'm so excited to try to use this on my um, my cups that I'm making. I know people are saying like it doesn't work that good. I don't plan on trying to do in intricate things. Like that's not my plan. So I've heard if you put it on like the washi tape and do larger things, then it's okay. So I'm going to try it out. Um, I just like the color because I've been looking everywhere for it. So then I wanted to try with like plastic cups to make them for kids, but I, Dollar Tree does not have their summer stuff out in my area yet. So I did find their Easter cups, but I also read that um, acetone will remove the images from cups. So I'm hoping that these cups right here, I can use the acetone and remove it. And then I can just put the designs on this and it won't be like Easter themed. You're okay. It's okay. Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, he's not shaking anymore. Now he's just sitting back here because he's cozy, huh? You cozy? Yeah. Say hi. Let you say hi. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I got these in the blue, the pink, and the green. Again, not because I wanted them for Easter. I'm going to take the Easter things off. But if you do want them for Easter, how cute is this little gnome? So cute. And the chick. And then the pink one had the bunny. So cute. But again, I'm taking them off. I don't want them on there. So let's put those over there. Okay. Sound good? Okay. And then you all, I have another project that I would like to do and I want to dress up these little Easter bunnies. So I found the brown one and I found the white one, which I found the white one last year also, but I want to put little necklaces and stuff on them. I've seen people doing it. Um, I think, what is it like when you eat, when you put too much on your plate, you say your eyes overwhelm your belly or something like that. Like, I think my eyes are overwhelming my crafting skills. Um, you're fine. And so I got these again, probably won't happen this year. I'll put it, I have a bin full of like holiday craft things that just kind of has cobwebs on it, but I got these so that I can get them dressed and stuff. So I do not finish my, um, bartending job that I'm doing in the weekends and for five more weeks. So it's like, April, like the first weekend of April or something. So that puts me working seven days a week, three jobs. But please remember, um, like they're not like the bartending one is only Saturday and Sunday, um, 10 hours a day. The one of them is 16 patients a week. And then another one is um, maybe like 15, 20 hours a week. So they're all different. So it's not like I'm working three full-time jobs. Oh goodness, no, but it's a lot. It's a lot on me, but it's okay. You're okay. And then I did pick up more of just the foam brushes, um, eight pieces. 
because that, sorry, he's pushing. Um, that just works better for the Mod Podge when I use it. So I got those and there's eight in there, which that has more than the ones in the craft section. And that's the same thing. So whatever you guys, I found more Martha Stewart paints. And because again, I have not been to the Dollar Tree in a long time. So when I went last time, they only had the candy apple red that I hauled. And now like this right here, last time, it, oh, Pacific Moss. You guys, this is the most beautiful green. Like, I don't know why I'm in love with this color. And this one is just called Coastal. And so they are two fluid ounces and they're multi-surface satin acrylic craft paints. But you guys, like, I mean, I know you can go to Walmart and get red apple barrel, whatever, 50 something cents. But I mean, this is still a pretty good deal if you're already at the Dollar Tree. So I got those. Oh my gosh, is that everything I got? No. Oh, oh I got this long, oh, I'm knocking everything over, this long pool noodle, but because it was the skinnier one, and so my machine that turns the cups came with some like foam things to put on it to hold the cups in place, but they're kind of bigger, and I can't get like my small ones on there, like this one right here, there's no way in a million years that I would get this on the foam things. So you have to put like, something in here to kind of hold it while it's spinning and it has to spin for six hours. So I'm hoping, oh, that's not gonna work either. Anyways, well, I'll figure something out for this, but like, I don't know, washcloth or something to put on my thing. But anyways, I got this because it's smaller than some of the ones I'm using right now. So it will work on some of the other things I hope to like spin the cup. So obviously like this opening, so you stick it on there and then it spins for six hours to make sure that the epoxy um, like doesn't fall all into one spot so that it stays even. So it sits for six, it spins for six hours. And then once the six hours is up, you turn it off and then it sits for 24 hours to finish drying. So the, um, it came with like two foam things that, two different sized foam things that fit on the turner. But I feel like they were not, they're still kind of large, so I needed smaller ones. So that's all I was trying to say. And then the last thing I did pick up is just this, and it's just the jewels, the one sheet, the zigzag. I don't plan on using them in the zigzag, but like I did on the cup somewhere, this cup, I used like small little jewels just to embellish it a little bit like right there and then two right there. But that's like the only color I have is just kind of the clear one. And so I figured I can just cut these small ones off and like embellish some of my stuff with it. So I thought those were way cute. So I'm just going to use those to embellish um, some more of my cups that I'm making. I'm having so much fun doing it. And my husband said that if I, because I said, well, I need another cup turner. He said, you've been working on this for a week. I said, I know, but you can only have two cups. And like I said, they spin for six hours. So if both cup turners are full, you're done. And I said, so I need another one so I can do four. And he said, let's make a deal. <laughs> he said, you make any money off of those cups. And then we'll talk about getting another cup turner. You all game on. I am going to find a way to make some cups and to put them up for sale so that I can get another cup turner. Because unfortunately he has seen my craft bin that pretty much has cobwebs. And so uh, he's, he thinks that this is a little bit of an expensive, expensive hobby for me, but it's not a hobby. It's going to be a job. <laughs> I don't know. I say that, but I'm like, just like I'm going to um, dress up these little bunnies, just like I'm going to do um, all the stuff that I am going to do. It doesn't happen all the time, but you guys, that is the end. I really did have a lot of fun going to the Dollar Tree today. Even though it's $1.25, I did definitely not pick up some things because of the $1.25, but I did also miss going and miss seeing what they had in there. And so I think that um, maybe this next week I'll do a walkthrough uh, because they have some amazing stuff in there. So I'll at least go in and do a walkthrough in my free time this next upcoming week. And I'm also going to be doing, which I'm going to make it tonight, but it'll come up probably this weekend. I am going to be doing a, um, a caramel apple Twix salad. I know it sounds crazy, but y'all, if you've never had it, we have taken it to potlucks, we've taken it everywhere, and everybody is in love with it. It's amazing, and it's so super simple. So I'm going to also be doing a video on that, so please stay tuned for that. Again, if you have 
if you are on YouTube and you can tell me how long did it take for any kind of normalcy on your channel, I would love for you to tell me because there's no normalcy in YouTube, in my life, in anything, in my jobs, nothing right now. So I'm a hot mess. So if you could just let me know, this right here is my next haul. So don't think that it's just chilling back here. Um, but yeah, so I have to put all this away and um, get ready for another haul, guys. This The next one is going to be penny items and um, just items from Dollar General. So uh, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Not doing a walkthrough today, guys, but look at this. They have large discs. They have the extra sheets, just like the Happy Planner. Look at this. They have stencil holders. They have customizable planners. Customizable planner covers. Are you kidding me? Let's see. What's under here? Planner stickers? What is that? Planner patches? What the heck is a planner patch? Let's see, what else is back here? Um, more planner stickers. I mean, this is the whole thing. It, it already comes with the discs, just in case. This one comes with white. And that one comes with black. But, I mean, they have... So many different, oh look, here's the black back there, but yeah, they're large discs, extra sheets, the tabs, the stickers, the patches, the planner, goodness gracious, the planner covers, oh my gosh, you guys, anyone that likes to plan, this is the place.